This is my PV6534 Plus. In essence, it is a 6505 Plus or 5152 with an EL34 power section. And in this video, I'm going to put it through its paces and see what kind of tones I can get out of it. First, I'll be going from clean to crunch to high gain on the rhythm channel and a high gain on the lead channel. After that, I'll be comparing it to certain settings on the PV5150 and Marshall JVM210H. The signal chain and timestamps for navigation are in the description as usual. Let's get into it.
Now let's see how it compares to the 5150. Ideally, I'd shoot it out against a 5152 or 6505 plus, but I don't have one of those, so this will have to do. First, I'll be comparing the clean and high gain settings on the rhythm channel to each other. I remember them being a little lacking on the 5150, but I like them on the 6534 plus. And of course, I'll be comparing the 34 plus's lead channel to the gold standard too.
People seem to think EL-34s automatically mean British sounding, right? I'm not even sure what that means, but it doesn't get more British than a Marshall. So let's compare the PV high gain to a Marshall JVM high gain. don't have an awful lot to say right now. I like the 6534 Plus. I prefer it over the 5150 because I find it more versatile. To me, the 34 Plus's rhythm channel is miles ahead of that of the 5150. It delivers very usable cleans and I also find its crunch and high gain settings on that channel better. There's more top end and it feels more pleasant playing it. On the lead channel, however, I have to give it to the 5150 by a very small margin. The 6534 Plus is tighter in the low end, but the 5150 just has that juice in it that can't quite be matched by dialing up the 34 Plus's gain pot. The difference isn't huge, but it's there. The Marshall and the 6534 Plus sounded a lot closer in the recording than it sounded to me when I was recording the playthrough. I was quite surprised when I edited the video. I expected them to sound a lot more different to each other than they actually ended up doing. They can definitely operate in the same tonal landscape, but their mid-range emphases are different and the feel is vastly different to play. That's all I've got for now, thank you for watching. If you found this video entertaining, informative or useful in any way, I'd appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. I've been told it helps the videos reach. Thanks again, bye.